Hey everyone and welcome to episode 2 of what Wargame does not tell you. First we're gonna talk about Seed, which is divided in basically three parts, using it offensively, defending against it and basically which stats are the most important. So this is mostly basic stuff, but I think some some stats get un are underrated in my opinion. And so in generally, in general, the most important stats are first of all the range of the missiles, the accuracy, and the ECM. That's I think everyone knows that. But what many underestimate underestimate is the stealth, which, which especially no, actually in pretty much every game mode, even in one versus ones, plays a really big role. Um, I'm basically gonna show you some examples right now because um, talking about it doesn't show you anything. So we'll get right into the video, I think. Okay, so we're here in the game, me against Faust. Maybe you saw it, but that doesn't matter. So there are basically two types of seed planes. Or planes at all if you wish if you want to see it like that those with and those without stealth mostly seed planes have stealth there are a few except exceptions but it doesn't matter right now so how does stealth actually work so units with stealth get mostly identified and also spotted later which is a big deal when you when you with seed planes because gen generally you want to keep your radar, radar array always off and turn it on when you want to kill stuff with it rather than having it always on and turning it off when you spot seed, because often it is too late if you spot seed. So anyways, let's see what happens here. I have an OSA ACAM and OSA, both at very good eye detection, though maybe the OSA has less and it just shows a different, but that doesn't matter. But anyway, they have both very good eye detection, that's what matters. So I spot and immediately identify the Syria around this place. Syria coming in. I spot nothing. It will probably soon turn the OSA on, or maybe not. And another plane enters, but I don't know which, what type of it, what type it is yet. And I identified it around this place, right around this place. Turning the OSA AKM on because I didn't think there was another plane. But now there's a seat plane. Shugudeng at my OSA, and this is also very important, while I turn it off, I move it, so this deep missile actually hits the ground where it was the last time I had it turned on. But I'm gonna show you that in another replay as well. I actually didn't think I would do, was doing it here, but whatever. I'm, I'm gonna explain it a bit more later. So yeah, why is why is stealth, why is stealth so important? When you want when you wanna attack with planes, you always want to send it with seed if you can, of course. So Stealth basically helps in that way that the enemy thinks, okay, there's only bombers coming or other tank planes or any other types of planes, but with, but without seed. If the plane has no stealth, you immediately immediately identify and spot it, so you know, okay, better turn off my radar A. But when they have seed, they, like I already said, tons of times right now probably, you spot it way later and probably get a kill with the seed plane because the enemy has its radar A turned on. So let's get into how to attack with it properly. Never mind me, I basically already told you how to attack it. Basically just send your seed plane behind, right behind the normal planes, quote unquote normal planes. But keep in mind that the planes might have different speeds, so if your seed plane is slower, then send it first, wait a few seconds, and then send your bombers. So how to defend against it? So like I already said, basically always have your radar A turned off, unless planes come without seed. Then there's all sort of another way to deal with them, and that is baiting seed missiles. What I mean is that, like I also mentioned in the video right before this, um, you can basically have your radar A turned on, and once the missiles, the radar seed missiles, are shot, you turn it off and move away from the last position it was turned on, because seed missiles will always sh shoot at the posi position where you last wa were. So I'm just gonna show you what I mean. There's the automatic turned on. I see the seed plane. I mean, I knew. It was a seat plane because 
I told him to send a seat plane. Seat plane shoots its missiles, and after they are shot, I turn off the automatic. You also see that the aim circle above the plane uh, vanished. I turn off the missiles. So the automatic was about right here when it was turned on. I turn off the missiles and keep it moving. And now the missiles both shoot in here. So that's a way how to bait missiles, which not only uh, makes them not kill your A, but it also makes them waste missiles. And seed missiles take very long to to refuel, to rearm. That's they have a very long rearm time. And you also get a chance. You can turn off the automatic again, or your radar A, stop, and shoot at it. So that's a way to kill seed planes. But keep in mind that it, that this is fairly micro-intensive, and with slow AA, which has very lo slow off-road speed like rapiers, it is not as easily, and it is also not as easily if the missiles shoot at short range. Yeah, so that's basically all about defensive seed and offensive seed. So that's basically all about seed. <laughs> Fuck me. Uh, let's get right into the next topic. Okay, so this is basically about using transports, but basically every type of vehicle effectively as a fire support in forests. But most importantly, transports, because that's what you often see in forests. So, first of all, don't necessarily just drive fast move your empty transports to the enemy. Because especially those with Brownings and KPVTs from the PTR 70s and 80s and such are actually really good fire support. Now the MGs with 0.5 HE might not be that good, but even those can be very useful. So while they certainly have a role as fire as, as baiting shots and such, don't necessarily waste them and just fast move them to the enemy. And if you wanna if you unloaded your infantry in forests, don't just attack move your infantry and the transports to the enemy because that's not how you use them as fire support and it actually makes your infantry weaker if you do that. Do it that way. Why? Let me just show you. So you see the government and the XA one eighty six both on attack move. And the Munchitson actually because they saw the transport first shot with the rocket with the RPG at the transport, destroyed it, didn't lose any HP, and because of the explosion the Gewehrmann 90 are now shaken. Basically, which means they're basically getting completely wrecked. So the way you want to do it is, since infantry can't use their MGs and their RPG at the same time, which is very good to know, you want to send the infantry first, and right after they transport. So they start shooting with the MG, and then you send the transport right after it. So they don't shoot at the transporter, but only at the infantry. Which looks like that. Hodgson engaging the government with their MG. Now I move up the XA. Which can give fire support to the Hodgson. And in the end it looks like this. Hodgson are getting wrecked were twice as expensive at as the government. I mean, everyone knows they are underpriced, but you know what I mean. So this basically works with every type of infantry combined with any kind of vehicle in the in forests. Keep in mind that LSTRs and SAS don't have an MG, so they will always shoot at infantry and vehicles at the same time. Um, also worth noting is that this does not only work with forests and with enemy infantry, it also works with basically any kind of vehicle. If there's a tank at this kind of at this edge, and you send in a cheaper tank, and then you're super heavy right behind it, and the en and the tank spots the cheaper tank first, it will shoot and kill the cheaper tank first while ignoring your super heavy, basically, unless the enemy micros his tank. Same with Modchitz, and he could just micro his Modchitz and tell him to shoot at, a, at the XA. But you get what I mean. So basically you want to use the infantry, or the cheap tank, whatever, as a bait, and then attack with your glass cannon type of vehicle second, so it doesn't get killed. So, 
yeah, that's basic, basically it for this episode, and uh, thanks for watching.